When I was a child growing up in northwest Indiana, there were no spacemen, and people joked that the moon was made of cheese. I was a student on campus. In 1969, I, along with the rest of the absolutely amazed world, witnessed Purdue's favorite son, astronaut Neil Armstrong, land on the moon and make that one giant leap for mankind. That singular event changed the whole path of human history that eagerly uses science to solve problems and to make profound changes for the betterment of all mankind. Well, we're all here, as you know, to celebrate Purdue's 150th anniversary. There is no place where Purdue graduates have distinguished themselves more or made the university more proud than in India. We want our students to have credit-bearing deep experiences overseas while they're at Purdue. And that number has actually doubled in just the last four years. Purdue also has 2,000 Indian students. Uh, it's the largest number of Indian students at any U.S. university. It's not by accident that our only international running of the Ideas Festival is happening here in Mumbai. I'm a through and through boilermaker. My parents, my in-laws, we're all Purdue boilermakers. And we're really excited to be here for the 150th year celebration. How many of you would like to live to be 150? People now want to live long enough to see their grandchildren go to college. Electricity is not what it used to be 100 years back. Other things that have grown out of it, batteries have had a huge impact on us. Now can AI have a similar impact on our lives? I said, can we imagine a world where many, many, many more young people are operating at their fullest potential? We've got unprecedented resources more than any previous generation. Humanity has made giant leaps in the past 150 years. Everything that we expect is happening three or four years sooner than we expect. The world will need the most intelligent and best prepared people to realize the incredible adventure of going to Mars. What a day that would be. I can see Purdue's banner probably being displayed on the surface of Mars. Hail Purdue. Uh, this is my brother-in-law Anand. So his father actually did his postdoctoral studies in Purdue in chemistry and my father followed him in the 1970s and I followed him. So it's been actually three generations of footprints that we have been following. And to top it all off, uh, my wife and I actually spent our first year of uh, marriage in Purdue. A friend of my father's, who was a professor at Purdue at that time, uh, happened to stop by our place in India and he said, why don't you apply to Purdue? And my professor recommended it as one of the best and said, there's no way you're going to get in. I did, so. The fundamentals that were taught to me really all gelled and made sense to me once I started working and started using them in real life. With a person who didn't have any belief in myself, Purdue definitely teaches you to have your own opinions and uh, to think for yourself and to have confidence in yourself. I think Purdue is a platform. It gives you a whole array of possibilities of experience. It represented a whole orbit shift. It changed my life. What an amazing event today it was. I'd like to ask all of you for today and for the rest of your life to live, love, laugh. Boiler up. 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 Boiler up.